Step number 15 is installing the windows. So after you completed the one window here, then we have to install it in our openings. So the first thing you'll want to do is to get a little bit closer and we are going to install it inside the walls component. So that means we have to select and edit a couple times until we can see all those little dots. That's where you want to put it. So once you are in the editing mode, then come over here to your components list and expand that bar and scroll down here and there should be your window. So in order to drag this in, all you have to do is select it and then just bring it in someplace and set it down. I did not hold my finger down. I just selected it and picked it there. So you can see that it's facing the wrong direction. So the first thing we have to do is to rotate it and we can just go to the rotate command and if you know that you have to rotate it along the blue axis then just tap the up button and it will lock into place see if i move around again it's not moving into any other color if i were to just come over here you can see how it's just flipping around there's the black red, green, there's blue. So it's always a good idea to tap on your arrow buttons if you know which way you want to rotate. So I'm going to do that again and tap the up button. And I just want to really select it anywhere. It doesn't matter where. So I'm just going to pick it there in the corner. And then I want to make sure I see the green or red access because I know I'm 90 degrees from that point. So if you want to align this with the bottom of the window like that and then move it this way or this way, you can do that until it locks in to the green direction. Okay, so I'm just going to pick there. And now we have to install it properly. And you might notice something different. It's it's all blue. And I did that for a purpose, and I just want to show you something. So with the move command, I want to select it. And it tells me I want it to select it right on the lower left-hand corner. And then I want to move in close to the, the sill here, the opening. And I would like for everyone to place it right between these two walls, the outside wall, the inside wall. Okay, so you see where it snaps into place midpoint? That's where I want it. Now sometimes it's hard to detect, so you need to go to your x-ray, and in doing so, you can see that you can see through the walls, and it really finds, you see how I'm not even close to that midpoint, it's locking on there, and a lot of times it's a lot easier for the move command to find a specific location with the x-ray on. Okay, so I'm just going to place it there. Now, I'm going to back out of the view and turn that off. And just for a second here, I'm going to get out of the move command. And I notice that the window is kind of flat. So if I've come inside the house here and I look here, this is the side where the detail is. And that's the side I want to show on the outside. So I did this on purpose to, just to show you what you can easily do. You don't have to redo that. You can just flip, flip this window. Okay. So if I select that and I right click I can go down to flip along and I have components red, green, and blue. So if I select, let me, oop, lost it there, flip along. I'm just going to pick red and see what it does. It doesn't do anything. Okay. 
So it actually did do something, but it just flipped from here to here, and it really didn't flip along the correct access color. And I know that to be green, so I'm going to do that again. I'm going to right click, flip along, and blue's not going to do anything because that's just putting this up here and this down here. So I know that it's green, so I'm going to pick green, and you can see that it instantly flipped. Okay, so that's a little trick that you can do instead of rotating. Rotating would have taken you longer and you would have had to find the midpoint here, pick along the red axis and then flip it 180 degrees. So there's a lot of steps involved in that, but if you just select it, right click, flip along, and if you know which one to pick, it's a lot easier doing it that way. Okay. And the reason why I had you put it in the middle is that it always looks good if you have a little reveal here. If the window were placed flush with this wall, it wouldn't look as good. And you'd have this surface here flush with this. So just remember that when you're designing a house. It always looks better with the little reveal here. And also, it looks good. Let me get you inside here. It also looks good with this reveal here. And the reason for that is so you can put some window covering, some shades, some blinds, some Roman uh, shades on there. But now we have to copy that window to the other side of the uh, door here. So I'm just going to position myself like that. Now in the instructions I told you to select the window here on the corner and place it in the midpoint here as well. But in this particular case what I'm going to do is to not pick anywhere on the window for copying but rather on the window opening because it's a little easier to see and grab. So once it's selected like that, you're going to go to the move command and you're going to pick the opening here. Okay. So once you pick that and tap your control key and you move it to the next opening, see it's a lot easier to find this instead of this sometimes. So I'm going to pick there and that's it. Okay, I'm going to close the components. And I, I know this looks scary, but this window here, you don't need it anymore. So just select it and delete it. Deleting it there will not delete it over here in your components category. Okay, so if I back out, remember the rule that if you edit this and it's a component, Everything else is going to be affected by that. So all of your homes now have the windows installed properly, I might add. Okay, so that's it.